We're going to show you the inlay kit that Woodline has available to inlay darker woods into lighter woods and it's, it's a very difficult process but it can be done with a rotor and I'm just going to take you through the steps today. The inlay kit includes the template, includes the 1 8 solid carbide bit and the template is kind of special because it has a little snap ring here on the outside and that's what's going to change your router from the inside cut to the outside cut on your inlay. So I'm just going to go through the process. The first thing you're going to do is find a piece of veneer. Now we cut this piece of veneer here uh, on our little ripper and we're going to inlay this piece of veneer into this piece of poplar right over here. Um, and I'm going to just cut this out right here. The key is you have to secure this this template onto this piece and I'm just going to use double sided tape. We're just going to go like this and like this and then we're going to secure this piece to the wood. I have my template secured to the veneer so it's not going to move around when I'm following with the router. I just want to show you the router set up here. The template fits into your router. To do the initial cut through the veneer, through the piece that you're going to inlay, you have to take off the little outside washer. So we're going to follow this template around that J and we're going to do the cutout first. So I've preset my router bit to the thickness of the veneer so I know where I'm going to be there. So I'm just going to adjust my router up here a little bit. I'm going to follow that template around now. Now we have our inlay. Now we're going to set it into our block of wood. Okay, we've re removed the template from the veneer and we're going to set it up to cut our pattern into here. So we're going to stick our template back down. Make sure that tape isn't going to affect the slide on your router. We want that set it right in like that. And I'm just going to set these clamps here so this piece doesn't slide around on me. We'll slide this whole piece over here. Okay, now our router. Now we have to cut out our groove for this piece right here. By the way, if you can see on this piece right here, where the router came around, there's a little tab right there. You want to just hit that with a sander. Every one of these inlays is going to have a little tab like that. So just hit that with a sander. Knock that off. Now I'm going to put this insert on. It just snaps right down. If you look on here, there's a little groove right in that template. There's a little O-ring in the middle of this ring here. And that's just going to slide on there and snap right into place. Now, make sure everything is set up. Everything stays the same here, except I just want to move this clamp out of the way because I think it's in our way. Okay, now we're going to set this up and do our next cut.
a little check here. Just to see what we've done. There's your groove and your inlay is going to fit it. That's how you do an inlay.